Well, good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. We all stand with us as we praise the Lord together. We know that the Lord is worthy of all praise. Let us sing together. I'll praise in the valley, praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure, praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I'm number, praise when surrounded. Cause praise is the water, my enemies drowning. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. I'll praise when I feel it, I'll praise when I don't. I'll praise cause I know. You're still in control Cause praise is my weapon Oh, it's more than a sound My praise is a shout That brings Jericho down Come on, let's lift him up As long as I'm breathing I've got a reason to praise the Lord you reign. Praise cause you rose and defeated the grave. I'll praise cause you're faithful. Praise cause you're true. Praise cause there's nobody greater than you. I'll praise cause you're sovereign. Praise cause you reign. Praise cause you rose and defeated the grave. I'll praise cause you're faithful. Praise cause you're true. Praise cause there's nobody greater than It is so good to be here together. Welcome to another day of church. Friends, if you're new, my name is Alex. I'm the worship pastor here, and I'm so grateful that you have chosen this morning to join us. If you've been with us, and you might remember that we are now continuing our Revelation study, where we are looking at the seven letters written to the churches in Revelation 2 and Revelation 3. As I was preparing for the worship set, what we were going to worship this morning, I really wanted us to focus on the transcendence of God. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that word transcendence, 
Essentially, it means to exist beyond or above the natural order or the physical order of the universe. In other words, God is above all things. He is greater than all things, but more importantly, he is sovereign over all things. So this morning, it is my prayer that we would approach the throne of God in humility, knowing that this sovereign God receives us. We can stand before him in confidence because of what Jesus did on the cross. So let us worship him. Let us sing to him this morning. Child of weakness, 
are worthy, Jesus, of all honor, all blessing, all glory, and all the praise. For you are the only one who is worthy. You are the lamb who was slain, the one who could open up the scrolls, the one who could approach the throne of God, pure, blameless, and holy. Jesus, we are grateful for the life that you lived, the sacrifice that you made, and the goodness that it brought to us. May our hearts and our minds worship you this morning. May they be an offering to you as the sovereign God of this universe, as the King on high, the only one worthy of all praise. May we be a blessing to your name this morning. We lift you up and we exalt you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I invite everybody to stand with us as we close our service with one final song. A song that declares that God is worthy, that he is holy, he is above all things. Let us come to him in worship and give thanks to God.
sovereign you're majestic but God you are near to us you are close you are not far off you are there always Lord you pursue us even when we turn and run from you and so Lord I pray that we would remember that you are sovereign that you are still in control no matter what we face Lord no matter the difficulty ahead of us in the season that we might be facing, Lord, you are still good and merciful. So Lord, we receive you. We ask that your Holy Spirit would go before us this week to strengthen us, to prepare the way that we might walk in the path of righteousness as we follow Jesus. God, we worship you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This morning, our benediction is inspired by Romans 8. <laughs> Thank you.